on YouTube, Jedi here, first ever face video, but you know, I got nothing to hide anyway. Coming at you with a bit of a different video, let me uh, turn down the Cheech and Chong up in smoke here. Just pause it for now. Alright guys. So yeah, coming at you with a different video, I may have mentioned in my last video that I was getting a rosin press, well, bam, here it is guys, Just get this into the frame, okay, the rosin ear, okay, it's nothing special, alright, cost me, it was $2.99, so you know, not very much guys, you know, under 400 bucks, well, basically almost under 300 bucks, if you don't include packs and shipping and everything. It came to around 330, 340 in total. Well, not bad at all, guys. So in this video, I went and I purchased myself a little dab brick. Got myself a torch. I've gotten myself a dabber. I've gotten myself some parchment paper. We're gonna take this thing out and we're gonna play around with it and we're gonna see what hemp is best for pressing rosin. We're gonna smoke some rosin. We're just gonna have a great old time. So stick around, guys, and you're gonna see some pretty interesting shit. Once again, I'm Jedi PK. Thanks for tuning in, and let's have some fucking fun, shall we? <laughs> all right, YouTube. So I'm back. I've got the press all set up. It's good to go. As you can see. Got it heated up. It's at 188, 183. I actually only have it set right now to 175, so that's one thing I can say right there, guys, is it does get a little hotter than it, like, you know, it gets hotter than what you set it to, but I guess, you know, that's something you're gonna deal with. I'm gonna press a little butt now, not a big butt by any means, guys, just to show you that it works. It's about a half a gram little nugget here and so the machine had a locking mechanism that when you came down it would lock down into place and you didn't have to hold it but I wasn't getting enough pressure in my presses and I was literally getting nothing and I was pissed guys so I ended up having to move the bottom plate up a little bit so now I've got it moved up to the point where I can't get it to lock but I can get more pressure down on it now that it doesn't lock and I can get better presses that way so this machine definitely is not a machine for production for sales you know I'm the guy I'm a stoner I'm doing this for myself I'm a medicinal, medicinal patient and that's it so without fucking further ado let me press this button and show you what we get out of it Back just like so. At that YouTube, we have some pretty impressive results there, I must say, for a small little bud, half a gram nugget. Right on. So the rosin press works, you know. When as we uh, keep playing around with her, you know, we'll start pressing some hash and whatnot. But you know, for flour, you know, I'm happy with what I got for sure. 
So it is the Brazenier press, guys. Stuck a little crap pin magnet on there, you know. Do what you gotta do. Pimp out your rosin press. But yeah, guys, if you're looking for something, you know, it's cheap. I'm gonna get the job done for you. I'd recommend the rosin here for you. Peace, YouTube.